I'm Laura Beth. In this video, I'll review the implementation process for CCH Access Tax. There are many benefits when using the CCH Access platform. One major advantage is a core database used by all the different CCH Access modules. We refer to this core as the common area. The common area settings will be configured during your implementation. Before we dive in, let's take a quick look at the specific settings for CCH Access Tax. These tax specific settings will be covered by your tax software consultant during your setup training or best practices consulting, which is scheduled for immediately after your implementation. Rest assured, your tax software consultant has the experience and expertise to advise you on configuring these tax settings. Let's review the tasks completed and topics covered during your implementation of CCH Access Tax. You'll be assigned an implementation consultant to guide you through this process. They will be your primary contact throughout the entire project, a single point of contact for any questions or needs that may arise. While the primary tasks and topics of all CCH Access module implementations are the same, we will customize your tasks and topics, change sequences, and adjust schedules based on your needs. Your implementation will be scheduled based upon the best available timeline for your specific situation. Just like the entire project has three phases, implementation is also divided into three phases preparation, installation, and configuration. Your progress through the implementation is tracked using milestones. Let's first look at the tasks and topics typically covered during preparation, which starts with an initial call. Your implementation consultant will review your milestones and scheduled events. They'll discuss your scheduling, confirmation email, and the valuable information it contains. They will also tell you who should be involved in each implementation event. After all, it's important to have the right people attending the right meetings. During the initial call, your implementation consultant will also review the technical considerations for CCH access. This includes discussing the system requirements of your workstation operating system, memory, as well as the required versions of Microsoft Office and Adobe. Additional topics covered will vary depending on your specific needs and may include virtual environments, Citrix or terminal server use, roaming profiles, and third-party hosting. Preparation of your firewall settings and antivirus exceptions will also be discussed. Your implementation consultant will also prepare you to run an internet bandwidth test. Next, they'll discuss how to prepare for the installation and configuration phases. Based on your situation, they could also cover additional topics such as client import, staff import, mergers and acquisitions, firm splits, data validation, conversions, and migrations. The initial call concludes with discussions on the readiness phase, go live, and a review of your tasks to complete before the next call. You'll receive complete implementation documentation after the initial call. You can reference this documentation as you work through your tasks. As you can see, there is a lot to cover during the preparation phase. Fortunately, your implementation consultant is there to guide you every step of the way. Let's move on to the tasks and topics covered during installation. You'll attend a Zoom meeting with your implementation consultant from a workstation you have prepared for the initial installation. You'll share your screen with your consultant who will guide you through the installation steps. Once you see the process, you'll know how to install CCH Access on your remaining workstations. The CCH Access Install and Update Manager is used to install and update the CCH Access modules. Your implementation consultant will show you how to handle future updates. Finally, they'll walk you through logging into your CCH Access account for the first time. Now let's complete our review by looking at the tasks and topics covered during configuration. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, your implementation consultant will review the common area configuration. They'll review the configuration training handout, which covers firm configuration, client creation and updating, and staff creation and updating. The next area covered is security, which will include permissions, access groups, and product licensing. 
You should configure all your settings before you start using the program. Once your final implementation task is finished, you will enter the implementation readiness phase. Your implementation consultant will remain available to answer any of your questions and handle any follow-up needs for 30 days. Then you are handed off to our support team for help with any questions or needs that may arise. That completes our review of the implementation process for CCH Access. Our implementation consultants have years of experience guiding thousands of customers through CCH Access implementations, and they'll be happy to guide your office. Please review the document included for more information about the implementation of CCH Access. Thanks for watching.